Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna, and welcome to the latest Benidorm news update. Today we are in the gorgeous park right here next to the hospital I'm at Levante and the Sundays and Wednesdays market. Like this, you can see slightly better the image on the back. And uh, it's a great day today for us to share all the latest news and everything that's going on in our region so let's begin with the tourism situation first as you all know it is quite busy these days uh, even though it's already september the calendar peak season tourism is officially over so september usually it's a quieter month but this year it's actually the opposite this year we have a lot of tourists who swapped previous summer months to the months of September and even October. Benidorm's town hall knows it, which is why there are quite a lot of different types of events going on in these upcoming months. I have a whole list here, so let's go with the imaging. There's gonna be a first ever in history of Benidorm sunset run, which will combine two of them. One is gonna be a normal one, just a normal run. The other is gonna be fast Nordic walking. And it's sponsored and being done by the Melia Viaitana. It's going to be on the 14th of September. And there is a link where you can actually register. Uh, there is a small fee for it. You'll get your number and everything. And it's just very nice, especially for sunset walk to enjoy some gorgeous views. You can just put uh, in the in Google first sunset run by Melia Viaitana Benidorm and you will have the direct link to it. Next ones will have between 13th and 22nd of September. There's going to be contest of cocktails here in Benidorm. As usual, different uh, restaurants, bars are and pubs are participating in it in order to find the best cocktail, the most popular in terms of professional judges and uh, the most popular for locals and tourists. So try it out and vote if you want to contribute to the best cocktail of Benidorm Town this year, 2024. On the 22nd of September, there's going to be another run, which is either 5K or 10K. And this is going to be for charity purposes. This is going to be uh, to support all the research of children's cancer in general cancer that affects children uh, to help the hospitals to help uh, for the research to help to get the necessary material for families as support as well uh, it's a very very nice cause so if you want to do that 22nd of september it will be just put the name children's cancer uh solidary 5k 10k benidorm September 2024 and you'll have all your information about it. If you do not find any of this information, write us a message here down below. We will try and find you the link, at least if it's in Spanish, uh, if there's no available in English, and we will put it here in the comment as an answer. Between 21st and 22nd of September, there's going to be a championship, Spain's championship for jet skis so there's going to be a lot of jet skis flying on the water these couple of days of september and then in general september and october there is a specific program that you can find in visit benidorm or on the official website of benidorm's town hall it looks like this as you can see here on the screen there's a lot of different events musicals there's theater micro theater children's theater there are um, parodies there are cultural events, there are expositions, there's a lot of different things uh, that will be going on September and October months. So make sure you check it out. Maybe you'll find some extra things to do during your holidays right now. The second news that I wanted to share with you all was concerning, but it's all right now. Uh, last Friday in the evening, oh, we've received messages and it was everywhere in social media and the police and the firefighters that the chocolate factory of Valor in Villa Joyosa was on fire. We got really worried because we did see the smoke from here, but essentially no one is no one's got injured. Uh, there's been more than 200 workers evacuated and also the visits, because don't forget that Villa Joyosa chocolate factory does uh, visits in the morning and in the evenings 
to uh, the Museum of Chocolate. Plus, they show you like a small part of the factory where basically they just uh, bring the packages into the boxes already. It's not the manufacturing or production process or anything like it. Uh, obviously, this is a big secret. So all these people, workers and tourists, were evacuated. This was something that started, the fire started in compressors that bring um, cool air inside of specific cool, cold cameras. So that is what probably reheated itself and uh, it just got too much and it just started to, 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 to be on fire, basically. Uh, so all of this in two hours, firefighters managed to extinguish totally the fire. So it's all right now. Uh, everything is fine. The visits will be continuing. And obviously all the works to uh, put the new compressors and change all of it and clean all of it and prepare everything because there was quite a lot of smoke. Uh, so obviously you needed to ventilate everything before the workers would come back to work. But now it's all right and visits will be re-established. We actually have a full video here on the channel for you guys, uh, which is about full tour of Via Hoyosa Chocolate Museum. We went there, it was this year or the end of last year, I think it was this year, with our subscribers as well that did get a tour of Via Hoyosa Chocolate Factory and Via Hoyosa Old Town. Uh, plus, in general, we went there separately to film a video for you guys and you can check out what might be waiting for you, what you can expect if you will get this tour. The lady that we've had was not really a good guide because she was not telling much. She was just reading the labels or just giving really, really basic raw information. And it wasn't good because there were so many things she didn't tell us about. I feel like we just got to read a summary of a book, but we didn't get to read the book itself if you know what I mean. So it was not the best in terms of guides. It was really fast like that. She didn't let us to look at things barely. Not sure what was the reason. Maybe if there was going to be another guide, that will be perfect. But for now, we did not like the tour. I mean, it's free. What can we expect? And they get, get, they get you some chocolates. They give you some chocolates to try, basics, and then there's a huge shop where they do let you be plenty of time, I must say. I wish that the visit would be slightly longer or at least slightly more of information given to it. Let us know if you've been there, by the way. And if you enjoyed the tour down the Valor Chocolates Museum, which is one of the most famous companies in the whole entire Spain in terms of chocolate production. The last news I wanted to share with you all is about the second phase of the Mediterranean Avenue. Uh, for when, when finally will we have a whole entire gorgeous Mediterranean Avenue in Benidorm town? Because as you all know, those who visit Benidorm regularly, those who follow us here on the channel, Benidorm Bayana, uh, the third part of it, one third is done. And this is the part closest towards the old town and city center where the techno hit is located. And the whole entire avenue is supposed to be like this. Only one road for traffic, only to one way and only 10 kilometers per hour. Priority for pedestrians, absolutely. Um, bicycles and mobility scooters and electric scooters allowed, but on specific trails. Uh, this is a gorgeous place in Benidorm, but two thirds of it are still waiting for a miracle to happen. And political parties obviously blame one another as they usually do. One political party did not approve the project uh, and if while the other wanted to make it reality. And now the same political party that did not approve the project is basically saying that it is a shame that government in Benidorm is shameless because they are taking too long with this project. The truth is that the beginning of this project, like a pre-project, was the whole entire avenue at once. It was for 23 millions of euros worth of a project, but eventually they decided to split it in three different phases. Then pandemics came, then a lot of things came, the crisis kind of right now, right? Came uh, after pandemics. And uh, with this being said, they just finished the first part. It costs 13 million euros and they did it in three years, not one, not two, three long years. And now these other parts, which is Rincon de Loich, um, 
Filipinos Avenue, which is where uh, we have a lot of different pubs that go directly towards the Gold Arcos Hotel and Hotel Presidente. Uh, and the second half is the Filipinas Avenue towards the Avenue of Europe. So the main issue here is that this has not been approved just yet. Benidorm's Town Hall does have all the budget for it, which is sitting there just waiting for the miracle to happen. And as a result, the contract needs to be given to some kind of company to make this work. Uh, which is not being made just yet and we are already heading towards the end of this year cannot believe that it is the case but we are heading towards the end of this year uh, and nothing is done so we don't know when actually mediterranean avenue will change hopefully end of this year beginning beginning of next year hopefully in 2025 they will start the works at least hopefully let's hope for the best and the other thing is that since they've purchased a design and tiles and all of this only for one part of it, will they be able to get the same design or will there be three different designs on the Mediterranean Avenue? Let us know what you think. Uh, is your country also the same? Do they take so long to put these type of necessary, absolutely necessary projects as this one is for Benidorm Town? Uh, because that is a strange uh long long period of time that we've just been waiting and waiting and it never happens although we all know that it is really necessary for benidorm and having a whole big avenue of more than one kilometers length with pedestrian priority a lot of natural shade uh where you could calmly have a lovely walk from rincon towards the old town basically towards the town center who wouldn't like that isn't it and now let's talk about the weather let's have a short walk down the park and we'll let you know what's waiting for you in these next upcoming days um maybe it will be raining two of them and what will the rest of the week be looking like because we are heading full speed towards mid september let's go this is what the weather is looking like right now we're here below the olive trees which are absolutely gorgeous but the sun is shining, the skies are blue, blue, and all the rain seemed to fade away. Uh, the thing is, there might be some slight rain this Wednesday, Thursday. Not something big, not something very, very strong, but it might be the case. As for the temperatures, we'll have around 20 7 29 these days but wednesday thursday and friday it will drop up until 25 26 probably because of the rain and because of the clouds or maybe some strong wind overall great temperature for us for locals and for tourists i suppose as well uh, great weather not going to be raining almost at all and there's still a lot of people who are enjoying the golden summer as we call it here in spain here in benidorm and costa blanca Thank you for accompanying us for today's latest news update. We wish you a lovely day and we'll see you in a new video here on the channel. Bye, Dees.